Have you ever wondered why we can't breathe in space? It's a question that has puzzled many of us. As children we looked up at the night sky, our eyes twinkling with the stars, and dreamt of exploring the universe. But then, we were told that space is not for the faint-hearted, it's a place so harsh, so unforgiving that even the simple act of breathing becomes impossible. Why is that? What is it about space that makes it so inhospitable to human life? Is it merely a lack of air, or is there something more sinister at play? These are the questions that have intrigued scientists for centuries and continue to captivate our imaginations today. Our journey to understand the mysteries of space starts with unraveling why we can't breathe in the cosmos. We're about to embark on a cosmic voyage, delving into the science that explains why humans can't survive in space without assistance. So let's dive into the science of why humans can't breathe in space. To understand why we can't breathe in space first we need to understand how we breathe here on Earth. Breathing it's something we do every moment of every day, often without giving it a second thought. It's a complex process yet so beautifully simple. The main player in this process is oxygen, a gas that our body needs to survive. And where does this oxygen come from? The air around us. Think of your lungs as two big bellows. When you inhale they expand, drawing air in. This air is around 21% oxygen. Once the oxygen enters your lungs it's absorbed by millions of tiny air sacs called alveoli. These alveoli are surrounded by tiny blood vessels, capillaries, where the oxygen diffuses into your bloodstream. But that's not the end of the story. Once in the bloodstream, the oxygen is picked up by a molecule called hemoglobin in our red blood cells. This oxygen-rich blood is then carried throughout your body, delivering oxygen to your cells for energy production. In return, your cells produce carbon dioxide, a waste product, which diffuses back into the blood. This carbon dioxide-rich blood is carried back to the lungs, where it's expelled from the body when you exhale. So, that's the in and out of breathing. But what makes this all possible, is Earth's atmosphere. It acts like a big protective blanket, not only keeping the oxygen from escaping into space but also regulating our planet's temperature, making it habitable. This atmospheric blanket is made up of several layers, each with its own unique characteristics. But the one we're most interested in, is the troposphere the lowest layer. This is where we live and breathe, it's packed with the oxygen we need along with other gases like nitrogen and carbon dioxide. But here's the kicker, once you leave the troposphere and venture into space, there's no air, no oxygen, nada, zilch. So, that's how we breathe here on Earth, but things are quite different in space. Space unlike Earth is a vacuum, but what does this mean for human breathing? Let's dive into the mystery of the vacuum of space, shall we? When we say space is a vacuum we mean it's pretty much empty. Not empty in the sense that there's nothing to see or explore, but empty in terms of air and molecules. It's like the ultimate desert, but instead of sand, it's just, well, nothingness. Now let's bring it back to Earth. Here we're surrounded by an atmosphere, a lovely cocktail of nitrogen, oxygen and a few other gases. This atmosphere is dense with molecules and when we breathe in, our lungs take in oxygen from these molecules. It's like a continuous, invisible buffet of air that we consume without even thinking. In contrast, space doesn't have this atmospheric buffet. The vacuum of space is devoid of these air molecules. So, if you're thinking about taking a quick breath out there, well, there's nothing to take in. You'd be gasping for air, quite literally, in a sea of nothingness. Imagine trying to sip a drink through a straw, but the cup is empty. That's what trying to breathe in space is like. No matter how hard you try, there's just nothing to sip. So, when we say breathing in space, it's a bit of an oxymoron, like saying an audible silence or a visible invisibility. It just doesn't work because the vacuum of space simply doesn't have the necessary ingredients for human lungs to function. But don't worry, this doesn't mean we're forever grounded. We humans are pretty clever. We found ways to carry our own little Earth atmospheres with us into space. But we'll delve into that magic in the next scene. So, in the vacuum of space, there's no air to breathe. But what would happen if you tried? Well, hold on to your space helmets because we're about to delve into the dangers of space exposure. Imagine for a moment that you're in space without a spacesuit. What would happen? First off, let's talk about the lack of oxygen. You see, space is a vacuum. It's incredibly empty of matter, including air. So, if you were to step out into the void without any protection, you wouldn't be able to breathe. Your lungs would attempt to draw in air, but find nothing. Within about 15 seconds, you'd pass out from lack of oxygen. If not quickly remedied, this could lead to permanent brain damage or even death. But that's not the only danger. Space is also home to extreme temperatures. Depending on whether you're in sunlight or in the shadow of a celestial body, you could be exposed to temperatures ranging from 
boiling hot to freezing cold. You'd either be cooked like a Thanksgiving turkey or become a human popsicle. Not exactly the most comfortable conditions, right? And then there's the radiation. Ah, the radiation. Space is filled with cosmic rays and high-energy particles from the sun. Without the Earth's atmosphere to protect you, these would bombard your body, potentially causing serious damage to your cells and DNA. Long-term exposure could increase your risk of developing cancer or other health issues. As if that's not enough, the vacuum of space could also cause your bodily fluids to boil at normal body temperature. This is a little thing scientists like to call ebolism. It's not about boiling like a kettle, but it could lead to gas bubbles forming in your bodily fluids, which can cause severe tissue damage. That sounds pretty scary, doesn't it? But don't worry, there's a way to safely explore space. To survive in space, astronauts rely on something incredibly important, their spacesuits. Picture an astronaut floating in the inky void of space, a single beacon of life amidst an ocean of darkness. What's keeping them alive? It's not magic, but it's pretty close. It's their spacesuit. Spacesuits are marvels of human ingenuity and technological advancement. They are designed to protect astronauts from the harsh realities of space. But how do they work, you might ask? Well, let's dive into it. The most important function of a spacesuit is to provide a supply of breathable air. The suit's life support system takes care of this, supplying astronauts with a continuous flow of oxygen. It's a little like having your personal portable atmosphere. But the magic of spacesuits doesn't stop there. They also shield astronauts from extreme temperatures which can range from blistering hot to freezing cold, depending on whether you're in direct sunlight or in the shadow of a celestial body. The suits are insulated to protect against these temperature swings and are white to reflect sunlight and prevent overheating. Spacesuits also protect astronauts from tiny high-speed particles known as micrometeoroids. These particles may be small, but at high speeds they can cause serious damage. The suits are made of multiple layers of durable material to provide this protection. And let's not forget about the vacuum of space. Without atmospheric pressure an astronaut's body could experience some unpleasant effects. Spacesuits are pressurized to mimic the pressure on Earth, keeping astronauts safe and comfortable. The helmet, a critical part of the spacesuit, houses communication equipment, allowing astronauts to stay in touch with mission control and each other, and a visor to protect their eyes from the unfiltered rays of the sun. So, while space may be the final frontier with the magic of spacesuits, it's not entirely inhospitable. These suits are a testament to human ingenuity, allowing us to venture into the cosmos and return safely. So, with the right equipment, humans can indeed breathe and survive in space. So, there you have it, the science behind why we can't breathe in space and how we've overcome this challenge. It's a fascinating journey, isn't it? We started with the basics of breathing and how our lungs need oxygen. Then we dove into the vast vacuum of space, a place not so friendly to our earthly bodies. We've explored the terrifying realities of space exposure and how it can spell disaster in mere seconds. But we didn't stop there. We also uncovered the magic of spacesuits, our life-saving armor in the hostile environment of the cosmos. These incredible pieces of technology allow us to venture into the unknown and return safely back to our blue planet. If you learned something new today, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment about what you found most interesting and subscribe for more fascinating insights.